Hello, this is Claude and I am going to show you today how to uh, put uh, 240 volts in your garage or to be able to power and do some conversion of tools uh, from to, uh, from 110 volts to 240 volts, all right? So let's turn that baby around here. So uh, first of all, the first thing I want to tell you is uh, I'm not an electrician, uh, I just read a lot. Um, purchase the electrical code. I'm here in Canada, so I purchased the electrical code, the simplified version, read the whole thing, uh, got most of my panel work here by uh, certified electricians, and I uh, got everything inspected by an inspector. So just don't do something that you're not comfortable with and let the professionals do it. If you feel like you have the basics in-house to get it done, um, it's fairly easy to do, all right? Just make sure that you never work with live circuits anywhere and that you get the professional to inspect your work once you're done. Um, I do not take any uh, liability for whatever you do. Just make sure you get the right people to check your work and help you with that, all right? So uh, that is the little disclaimer here. So uh, let's go to it. I'm gonna show you uh, what I've got in here, all right? All right, so basically in uh, this is the box. Uh, I've got a cell panel in my garage. I've got a, a 60 amp line that is going into uh, straight into a switch here. As you can see, I've switched it off. I've uh, locked it, so I don't want to work with live power even when I'm just showing you. Um, all right, this on this video, as you can see, proof is it, it's uh, I keep my garage at five degrees Celsius, which is about 40 degrees uh, Fahrenheit. So it's uh, fairly cold over here, but I want to save on my uh, en energy bill. All right, so basically uh, what I've got, and you're going to need to have one spare breaker. All right, one first thing we're going to do, we're going to be safe. We're going to make sure, even though the switch tells me it's, everything's off, I'm gonna make sure there's no current anywhere. This is a neutral, nothing should be there, all right? So uh, I'm still not going to stick my hand in there. I'm gonna find this little stick here. So in order to have your tools and to convert your tools from 110 volt to 240 volts, uh, you're gonna need to have the right receptacles. This is a, I think it's NEMA uh, 615 for a 15 amp, 240 volts. This is the female and uh, you've got the male plugs. Uh, what you're gonna have is that you're gonna wire uh, two hots in here, all right? So you're gonna have one hot. So basically this is a cable that's a 14.2, which is uh, two conductors and a ground cable. The, uh, the wire copper, exposed wire copper is the ground. You're gonna have a white and a black cable in there. The black is a hot and the white is going to be a hot. So you need to identify your white as well. Uh, just like this here, all right? So you've got your bare copper wire, that's your ground. Right here is your ground. You have here your one of the hot, okay, line. And this one is a white cable because usually is a neutral, but now we're gonna use it as another hot cable. We're going to identify it as hot with a strip, a piece of tape, letting us know that this is a hot cable wire, right? So this box here is wire. So these two sides are the hot sides, all right? So you've got the white identified with the black tape here. You've got the black wire over here. And you've got your ground that goes over here. Note that I've switched the order. Now, usually in the houses, we see with 110 volts. Uh, you know, the ground facing down should always be up uh, for the 240 volts. I've done that. If you've got the tool or something that's going to fall, all right, a, a screwdriver or something, and imagine the cable's, you know, just half out, and you can really get 240 volts up there. Uh, so you don't want that. So basically, uh, that's a tip that uh, I've, after everything I read, uh, you know, and, and saw, um, it's, it's a tip that keeps coming. So I put it up there on the, the ground you know, facing upwards. Okay, clear identify 240 volts. I've got the teenagers in the house, but still, don't don't mess with that, all right? So these cables are going off here in the box. And basically, if you see, I am using these two, all right, uh, this duplex. So this is a dual pole right here. This one here is a dual pole. So if you can see, they're tied together. It's a dual pole uh, breaker, 15 and 15 amps. Uh, this is basically, the whole thing is a quad 
uh, breaker with four of them. So I've got the dual pole 15S in here, and I've got a single 15 and another single 15 right here. So this uh, dual pole 15 amp is the one I'm using for that plug. So if you look, I've got one hot right here. I'm gonna use my little tool over here. So I've got one hot going right into that uh, breaker here. And I've got the, the white identified as a hot going into the other you know part of the, uh, the breaker, all right, the dual pole. So I've got two lines of 110 volts going. It's basically 120 volts more or less. Uh, if you put your uh, gauge on it. So basically going to the outlet. Uh, the, 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 the ground is going into the ground bar at the, at the bottom over here. I don't know if you can see, but all the grounds are right here connected together in that bar, all right? So you've got two hots and one ground. Okay, there's no neutral. There's no neutral that is running to the neutral bar. All right, that's for 110. When you have got 110 volts, one goes into the hot and one goes into the neutral bar. With 240, you've got two hots on a, du a dual pole breaker with the exposed copper wire, the ground, going into the ground, uh, uh, the bus, all right? So this is what you have over here, all right? Like I said, hot over here, hot over here, ground on top. Basically, put that in that configuration on top. If something falls on it, it's not gonna catch the blades, it's gonna catch the, the ground. All right, so this is, I've put another one over here and I've got the random wires over here going in the box as well. And I've got another one on the other side as well, okay, of the garage. So I've got another plug over there with 110 and 240. Same configuration, same set of wires going up, going in the box. One thing I want to remember, or, you know, remind you guys, uh, 240 volts, they say that you can put up to uh, maybe two uh, plugs, you know, and on the same circuit. You know what? I don't take chances. I put one on each circuit. So I've got one set here going into that 15, all right? I've got another set here on that one, and I've got another set here on that du uh, dual pole breaker. So each of my three 240 volts plugs are managed by a single duplex or duplex but dual pole breaker okay so very important to do that now all right i've got the table saw right here a rigid table saw typical you know table saw if you look at this you will see at the motor when you start to the conversion you always have a diagram with the the difference uh, you know in wiring all right you've got 110 and 240. what you i did with that i just popped Pop the cover, Whoop. do the wiring according to the diagram for 240 volts, okay? And I change the, the, the wiring. Once this is done, very important, change the plug. So basically you take that, cut the cord over here whoop, at the base, and then you take the same thing. Here's the same, is the NEMA plug, 615, all right? For 240 volts, it says it rated 250 volts, 15 amps, all right? Since it's 15 amps, this is why I run the, my wires by 14.2, uh, uh, which is for 15 amps. So I've got one hot over here, one hot over there, and I've got the ground over here. Um, if I look at this, basically in, in the wire itself, you always have a black, a white, and a, uh, you know, a green cable, all right? Uh, the green goes to the ground, obviously. Black goes to one, white goes to the other one. Usually in these cables though you have a you will usually have um, a black and a brown for the hots or a blue. So basically the black is always live a hot. You always have a green cable. The other one could be white, blue, or brown. That's the, the second hot. Right? And then you just put that over here and then change your plug. Even when I put the plug, the insulated plugs, I still take the time to put the uh, electrical tape. Uh, I just go twice and I do two rounds of tape on that, all right? Uh, the, 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 the benefit of doing that when you convert from 110 to, two, uh, to 40 volts is the fact that, uh, no, that table is gonna draw 15 amps. Uh, if you do that, then it, you might get the breaker to pop, all right? So the best thing to do, when you change to 240 volts, you drop your amps by half. So now this table, instead of being close to 15 amps, is gonna be close to 7.5 amps. 
much easier on the breaker, all right? Got more power and uh, it's overall better operation, okay? If you have a compressor, like I do right here, should have removed the box here, but all right. Same thing here with this compressor. Just gonna remove that, all right. So for that compressor, Typical DeWalt compressor that you buy at Home Depot. This is the same, exact same model that they sell at Home Depot in Canada and in the United States. Uh, I live in Toronto, so I go to Buffalo all the time. So it's the same thing, all right, same compressor. All right, so on the motor itself, the same thing. You've got uh, the diagram on the motor. And it says clearly, you've got the low voltage wiring. This is, um, you know, the voltage, the, the, the configuration in the motor. And then the high voltage, which is the 240 volts. Basically, if you look at this, you've got the line, which is one hot, the white, and then you've got the black, all right? So this is low voltage. So black is hot, white is not hot, all right? So you see how it goes, you know, the, the, the white one goes with the orange and pull one and all of that. When you change to 240, you just look at this. Basically, you just open that, you pop that cover open. You just open that cover over here, and you will see there are pegs inside of that where the cables are connected to, and these pegs have numbers on them, one through five. All right, and uh, this the motor only uses a, uh, a four number combination. Okay, so you got here, you got, uh, let me put this here on the 240. You got one, two, I think it's four over here, and you got three over here. Okay, so this is, these are the numbers. You just look at it and you just rechange the, the wires to accommodate that. So the white and the black on this configuration, the specific motor, I didn't have to change, it stayed on the same poles, one and three, okay? The only thing I had to change was the orange, right? change the orange, put it on, on, pole, on the pole number four right here, because the white and the orange goes on pole four, right? The brown goes on pole two here. So I had to change the brown from pole four to pole two and put the orange and white on pole four, okay? So this is what I had to do. And basically, I clearly identify it over here, 240 volts, okay? And you change the plug as well, change the plug, to that NEMA 615, and the same thing, once the plug is done, it's hot, hot, and the ground over here. So it's the black, probably blue cable or brown, and in there is the ground, which is the green cable wire all the time in this configuration. So like this, the same thing, this compressor all the time, because probably I didn't add lights and other devices on, these, on that plug, usually wouldn't start because it would take more or less the, the full uh, 15 amps that it needed to start and it would just sometimes not start so now that I'm on 240 volts it starts every time easily and I just love it all right so this is it so that's a quick walkthrough on how to convert your table saw or compressor into 240 volts always make sure like I said to be safe get your work checked by the professionals always you know lock your uh, your power, I'm at off, just the panel is open. So this is at off, I'm freezing myself right now. So this is off, no power, get your work done, work clean, make it tight. Don't make it a big spaghetti, a big mess. Make it easy for the inspectors when they come to look at it. It's clean, it makes sense. And uh, be safe and good luck with your project. Hope you enjoyed that video, thank you.